Hello and welcome to the GBHL podcast. You're here with your host GBHL Jamie and GBHL Harry, and we're back. We are back after a bit of a hiatus, I guess. It's been a while. Unexpected hiatus. An unexpected hiatus. Um, well, so we're back, and this is a video about our upcoming event, Stockport in Flames 2017. Woohoo! Whoop whoop. Um, let's crack on with it. It's yeah. a little bit rusty. I know. It's been a while. Yeah. I can't actually remember the last video we did. I think mm, right at the beginning of the year, maybe. Yeah, it feels like that. Yes. So, oh, my one was there with Damien. Yes, you did do it. Yeah. Army list books, which is very so. good, which is needed because I miss the content as much as anyone yeah. else, but I feel guilty because yeah. I'm part of it now. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully, um, we'll be able to record some more stuff more frequently and we'll get back yes. on track. That's yeah. it. So, without further ado, our event, Stockport in Flames. Yes, so it is the 21st and 22nd of October 2017. The weekend after Sterling or before Sterling? No, uh, two, two, two weeks after. Nights after Sterling, yeah. yeah yes. Sterling's the first weekend. Yes. The scouring of Stirlingshire. Mm. We'll both be in attendance. Oh, yes. Yes, we will be. Yes, indeed. Um, uh, well, our event is a doubles event. Woohoo! Which is awesome because there's only one, two others in the, in the calendar. Yeah, it is including GW ones. Yeah, it's including the, the throw schools ones. That, that one that those selfies do. Yeah, the seven syllables or something. Seven syllables, yes. Seven stones. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and then there's the war one. And there's uh, the War Gamers Association of Reading have their doubles events, and that's it's November. November, so down south for that one. Yeah. So if you, we're, we're the only northern doubles event. We are outside independent northern doubles event. Yeah, and, and they still, still say GW's Midlands. Yeah, and, and they're always great fun doubles. I think yeah. we want to them to do something that's a bit different. Um, I still think we want to have a bit of com uh, competitive play because I know oh, yeah. the Seven Stones is is very much our theme, yeah. and getting people attending and having fun. We're a bit more competitive players ourselves. Yeah, yeah, think, so, we? so we want to sort of in introduce some of that to our um, our events. Yes. Um, we'd also like everyone to turn up with theme because it's an eighty point event for the GBHL, so it's not going it's not going to win you the league. Um, it will count towards your wild card placement for the ETC though. So if you're mm -hmm. going for like going for the wild card spot, yep. then you'll want to do well at it. So bring something that's going to be tough, but not a walkover. That's it. Yeah. And not to then to discourage anyone that obviously doesn't want to compete and just wants to have fun because it's all for that too. Yeah. You know. uh, hopefully we're going to have quite a nice attending list. So lots of yeah. different people and lots of opportunities to play different people. And then doubles form is always fun. Yeah. There's a bar. So, oh, wait, so, so we're at Element Games. Yeah, we're at Element Games, as you might have guessed, is our sort of it's our local haunt, I guess, our local gaming store. Mm -hmm. um, it is absolutely fantastic now. Um, yes, yes, it really is. The first time, the first time was it this year that we hosted Desolation since the revamp? And mm. It was, well, I don't really remember much of it because I was very drunk and hungover, but <laughs> it was so much nicer to welcome people into that venue than the old dingy Northwest Gaming Centre. Agree. And yeah. People went home with regular health rather than being ill and snuffly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, so uh, it's always a bonus. And that's it, and I, um, they've got great staff there, they've got a bar. Yeah. I think doubles tournaments definitely encourages the drinking because you can have a, oh, yeah. a laugh with your partner. That means you, you can drink and they can think. Drink and think, I like it. Yeah, so nominate the drinker and nominate the thinker. Yeah, for each day. <laughs> Try and get the Saturday one, because the Sunday one, you don't want to be wasted. Yeah, that's true. Um, I imagine we're doing usual we're doing usual Subway platters for lunch. Yes, it will be Subway platters for lunch, um, including your ticket price. So yes. that's on both days. Uh, you get, I think it's six inches worth of Subway, uh, some crisps and a cookie, if they do cookies. Maybe. So, yeah. Hold us on the cookie, just in case. Hold us on that one. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably do pizza and that work really well when you do yeah, the desolation. Yeah, the, the pizzas in the evening for a Saturday evening meal. Uh, so instead of going out for an evening meal and having to do all that faff, yeah. um, we'll have pizzas and beer uh, element. And that means because there's a chance to play some more games if you want to play some more SPG, or there's plenty of other games and for board sure. games and card games that we can get involved in. Yes. And generally then just go out into Manchester. Yes, which just seems to be the trend at the moment, yeah. is getting really drunk on a Saturday night. And oh yes. <laughs> oh yes, well we went, it was only a few weeks ago, it was the Scouring of Cheshire, yeah. uh, Steve Crow's event. Someone, someone won that one, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was a really good night out on the yeah, Saturday, was a wasn't it? Night out. Yeah, Fantastic. Steve's been also, and so Steve hosted and still came out for the full night, so yeah, we have yeah. no excuse. No. No excuse at all. Should be good, we'll just meet. Let's hope we have even numbers without the ringer on the yeah, second yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> no one drops. <laughs> um, yes. So if you want to attend, you it costs fifty pounds, and you email hasm dot morsey twenty. Nah, that's my old. Ah. Um, 
Harry dot yeah, PayPal to Harry dot more twenty seven at hotmail dot co dot uk. Yeah. All of this is on the GBHL event page, or it's on the yeah. event page through the GBHL uh, the league. Um, but we also have an email address, haven't we? Yes, it. it is. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Stockport in flames, all one word at hotmail dot com or dot co dot uk. <laughs> Just check again, the page, it's in the event page. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. don't. I don't really use it that much. No. It's, it's a new, it's a new address, yeah. so I don't really know it yet. If you have any questions, just email, just yeah. Facebook. Or drop, drop them in the comments below. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 of course. And we'll, I'll, I'll be there to answer. Yeah. Uh, as of today, we're, so this is Monday. We're filming this whenever it comes out, but we have updated the attending list. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've got, I can tell who's coming from who money has been sent, but we don't know partners. So if you could yeah. let us know, if you haven't already, uh, who your partners are, and if you wish to attend. Yeah. Just even if you're not paying yet, just let us know so yeah. we can reserve you a space. Totally, and it's good for us to get an idea of numbers. Yeah. Um, because also that's very dependent on the hall, isn't it? Just yeah. So like that. there is um, Friday night magic and and Saturday magic going on, so we need to make sure we sell out as much as possible, so we secure our space earlier, and we let Tim know well in advance. Um, on that we're also giving out some freebies to attendees. We have got some objective markers made Ooh. for the event. Um, we got the proof through through today uh, of four designs, and we picked one of them that we'll show you when we get the actual copy of yeah. it. Um, and I think based on sort of numbers of that, we'll probably limit it to the first, say, 20 teams, get it for free, and then after that, you want to yeah. have to buy them. Yeah, and, and I suppose because they're objective markers, it'd be good to know if people are really interested, because we can maybe make a bigger order, and yeah. then knowing that we could then sell them at the event, but if people yeah. want them. So for say domination having five objective markers. For sure, yeah. I think we've got uh, hundred on order. So like the first twenty teams means that's forty gone. Yeah, of course. And then we've got uh, sixty available then. Yeah. So just to to get the extra ones for domination or just to have them for hold ground, which the a forty mil base, uh, which is I believe what the uh, book suggests. What's meant to be, yeah, yeah. which is cool. Uh, and again, it's a token from the weekend, like yeah. the, the stuff from Khan and what Steve's done from Cheshire, you can have something to take away from that tournament, which is really cool. And on that, thank you from Art of War Studios for taking our design and doing stuff with it to make it a little bit nicer. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Cool. Um, so what have we talked about? We've talked about where it is, when yeah. it is, um, how many games? We're having six games? Six games, three each day. Yeah. How was it four and two? No, I think it's three. Three each day. Yeah, yeah. Two hour games, wasn't it? Two hour games, yeah. So three each day makes more sense. Yeah. Because otherwise you'd be in there for forever on Saturday. Yeah. And that's, I think, three games a day is it's not too much. I no. think for a doubles tournament, we just want to be quite relaxed anyway. Yeah. Which is cool. So, plenty of games. Scenarios, we'll uh, do another video because we've got some custom ones. Yes. Uh, as it is doubles, we want to mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and we'll probably do some bat reps with them on the channel. I think it'll be quite Hopefully. cool. I think we should do try. I think so. We have to, we've got time now, and I think yeah. it'd be cool to see how things play out and give people an idea how we want them to be played. Yeah. And um, the other thing we're bringing in as well as the custom scenarios is the Oaths of Battle. Yeah. yeah. So that's a throwback to it is. old old Lord of the Rings GTs yeah. with, uh, well yeah the the old Grand Tournaments with the Lord of the Rings era. Yeah. So any veterans out there will know instantly what we're talking about. Uh, we have sort of. In, Said what they are in the events pack. Yeah. Um. But we'll, we'll in this video we talk about scenarios. We'll talk about those as well. Yeah. I think it's a really cool little idea and an extra incentive in your battle. A little yeah. So you've got to complete. They are your first tiebreaker after wins. Yes, that's true. So they matter a lot for your final standing. Mm. And also, it's just cool little mini objective. So even if you're going to lose the game, get your other battle points. That's it. I know it's off the fly and we hadn't planned this, but should we do a reward for highest odds of battle scored? Outside of the top three, yeah, I think that's quite a good idea. Um, Effectively, fourth place gets it, but uh, yeah, but it might not well, be that. It could be a team that loses all, all, all the games and just, play, get, for the just play for the oaths. Yeah, so if you lose your first three games, but you get your first three oaths, yeah, so I'm going for the win of the tournament and just, just go for the game. order battle. Yeah. Oath keeper, the oath keeper award. The oath keeper award. There we go. Boom! Look Ooh, at that. That's okay. a that's an award we need to buy. Oh, we need to win a full cool prize. <laughs> yeah. but oath keeper is. Um, Jamie Lannister's it's sword, isn't it? Yeah. So we're, we're not going to do. <laughs> I'm afraid to we say could, that. Though. Could we could maybe find a little pen knife. Uh, yeah, that's little, cool. A little uh, letter opener, letter openers, if they're available. Yeah. Well, think about it. Hold, don't hold us that one. We've just come up with it. <laughs> Shall people want mine Thrones? But well, yeah. most people watch Thrones, so they want mine yeah. Thrones prizes and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, we haven't actually talked about the points. No. Yes. So the points are four hundred and fifty points per force. Um, each player brings a force to make an army. So. A total nine hundred points, but split 
between each yes. player. Um, obviously, both players need to go either good or both players need to go evil. Yep. No mix and match in no, that would just be, be crazy. Horrific strength and will, Felbies. Oh, oh, Saruman and the Witch King fighting to get yeah, well. Best, best pals. Best, yeah, good Saruman. Yeah. Best Saruman. Oh, that'd be horrible. Saruman the Wise. Mm. No, thank you. Um, so yeah, both both from good and both well, both from evil. Yeah. Um, you can not ally in your own force. So your own force has to be purely from one list. So let's say I wanted to bring a shade. Because I'm a filthy Angmar player, I'd have to then bring Barrow Whites and the Witch King yes. and things. I couldn't then go, I've got the shade, I'm going to go take some goblins with me now. Yes, so you have to go from the Pure, Purely from that one list. Yes. Uh, your partner's list can be from any other list, and it can be from the same list. So you can yes. have Angmar, Angmar. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I think that yeah that makes sense. Yeah. We're saying, when, we've debated and debated about Dwarven oh, Schools, Army Rules. I think well, there's a few tournaments around about now that are using them, yeah. including Throne of Schools in two weeks. Yeah. Um, I think we we've decided we're gonna we're gonna leave them. Yeah. But we are gonna allow people to use the army bonuses from there yeah. there and back again. Yeah. So if if you've got a force from there and back again, it will get the bonus. So let's say you've got an Azog's Legion force. Mm -hmm. Then you'll have a Master of Battle in it. Yes. If you both go Azog's Legion, then you both have a Master of Battle. Yes. Which is pretty cool. Which is cool. Oh, oh is um, it? Because it's the army general, that's it. Oh, we'll think about that one. Oh, yeah. It might be, but then that's the only time it affects it. Oh. Yeah. That'd be fine, because you've got a master of battle at 450 points. You'd be great. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I was thinking of doing Azog's Hunters on one side and Azog Legion on the other. Bold yeah. and Azog, which would be really cool. Be really cool. cool. Azog with master of battle, bold with we'll, we'll, fancy we'll sure. army. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That would be cool. Um. So yeah, so 450 points each, and did we decide on kind of... No, I don't know. So, I'm, I'm muttering, I'm thinking, mumbling. Okay. Um, anything out of the points? Um, we made some exceptions, didn't we, to the rulings. I think we said we could have Gandalf. Did we, we say about we say we Gandalf? Did. I can't remember if we did or not. I think we, we, like we, were, we were talking, <laughs> and this has come up a couple of times, so I don't know if we decided on it and put it in the events pack or not, of whether Gandalf can lead Minas Tirith and... Rohan. Yeah, let me have a quick look. Cause <laughs> I mean, I would like him to lead Minas Tirith, get off the white. Obviously. Ooh, so a few more people attending that's good. Oh, good. Um, da, da, da. In the meantime, whilst you search, I'm going to space fill with prizes. Oh, envious. So, worst first. Oh, it's not the worst. Part, no, well, no, no, there's no worst, no bad prizes here. This guy doesn't know how to market things. <laughs> Show them the worst prize. Yes, yes. Well, I'll tell you what, this is the benchmark for worst, yeah. that's okay. So, <laughs> this was uh, the third place prize, I believe. Third? Third place? Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is you both get a pair of pop vinyl Gandalfs. Gandalf Woo! I. Um, so they're pretty cool. The best army theme voted for by us. Yes, maybe. It's in the rules pack. Is this best army most themed? <laughs> <laughs> Most Thriller, themed Thriller. voted for by us, or I don't know, it's best painted because it's to do with art. Yeah, makes sense. Get a copy of the Art of the Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, mm. and uh, these are the 60th editions of this, the 60th edition celebration of this book. That's pretty cool as well. That's the painted one. Yeah. Yep, that's best painted because art is painting, and so you get an art book. Winning is also an art. It is, yes. Yeah. And if you win the event, <laughs> nice little segue, you earn yourself. Whoa. A sting! Ah! Which is pretty awesome. It's not glowing blue, so there's no orcs around. Oh yeah, because there's no orcs, that's all. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. So we yet to get a few other prizes, but obviously we're, all the prizes we are doing for... I'm sorry, give me yeah. a second. Um, so first, second, third. Best themed army, voted by ourselves. Uh, best painted army, mm -hmm. which voted, voted by the attendees. Voted by you guys. Which we've just shown the prize for. Uh, mm -hmm. Most sporting. Yep. Which is voted by the attendees. The glorious, glorious wooden spoon. Yeah. Which we think we're going to do. Frying. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we we'll go through all the setup. Yeah. Yes. We're going to do frying pans. Yeah, so we'll the do wooden... Sam's pan. So you can just throw the frying pan award. Yeah. Because that makes sense. And no one's done it before. Yeah. But we're going to buy some brand new frying pans and then go smash them up in the garden so they look a little bit beaten. Yeah. Cook some. Cook some eggs in there. What are those? Nice. Oh, I can't remember now. Um. We'll go for, we'll go for pans. <laughs> Bacon, nice juicy taters. Ooh, taters. Nice juicy tomatoes. Oh, taters, tomatoes. precious. Um, yeah, and then we've, we've got some cool, 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 cool prizes for the raffle. Yeah, so the 
name of it I cannot remember exactly, but it's something like from script to screen, or that's from um, and that's from the Weta Workshop, and that's yeah. been their latest release. Mm. A touch wood, it arrives in time for the event. Yes. If not, we're going to ship it out to the raffle winner yes, um, at our own cost. Mm. So, yeah, but it's a pretty damn cool prize. Yeah, it is. Oh, and it costs a lot to ship from New Zealand, so you better be thankful. Yeah, so please buy raffle tickets. Yeah, um, we've also got blisters going in the raffle. Yeah, um, some models, some chocolates, some Freddos. Of course. A few dice, probably. Yeah, um, so maybe some tokens. Because maybe some tokens. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. A full set or something. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fair. That's cool. Cool. And I think, have we, right, have we done our checklist of things? We yes. Talk about? Just talk a little bit about the people who are attending our tournament oh, yes. so far. Yes. So we've some very, very keen people, Owen, mm -hmm. and Owen and Gethin, because yeah. you guys are very keen from the start. Do, do, do. I know this is updated since. So we've got Gethin and Joe Wilcock. Mm -hmm. We've got Liam Murphy and someone. Yeah. Sorry, because I imagine this will be updated by the time this video's come out. Ryan Hinch and a friend. Yeah. Luke Bilton and a friend. Oh. Maybe Luke Bilton too and a friend. Oh. Unless Luke's playing I hope these are all friends with each other. It would be very awkward there if it's is. not. You're just assuming. <laughs> uh, Owen Fitzpatrick and Ben. Yeah. Uh, Paul Mullis and Paul Mullis Jr. Uh-huh. Uh, David Reed and James Gilray. Ooh. Articon champion and future Ooh. of the hobby. Oh, we should be honoured with his presence. Yeah, we should be. Uh, we have some friends from Germany. Oh. Pascal Heinsohn and, sorry, friend, I've lost who that was. Was, it, was cool. it like Tomas or something? Was it yes. T? Thomas or something? Sounds German. But great so friends that we met in Germany when yeah. we were playing in the ETC. Yeah. So doing the German team. So the German invasion is happening. Yes, uh, and I'm sure they're going to want to come over and do well. Yeah, so. you, don't, you don't you don't travel abroad to an event to. Well, you do to have for the so food. Food. <laughs> food. No, you go for win that. So that's a bit of competition. While mm -hmm. we're in that place, we've got Will Champion Edward Ball. Ooh, power team. Power. A power couple, you might say. <laughs> We've got Callum Clapton, Andy Morrison, mm -hmm. local boys. Locals. Representing. Uh, Connor Healy, JT Noble. Mm -hmm. uh, red Rose, White Rose. Ooh. Uh, ooh, it's all spot. Yeah. Should, we just Should we get the Red Rose there? trophy? Oh. It's fresh from our weekend. Yeah, yesterday. so it, you might have seen on our Facebook page <laughs> if you follow it. Um, we attended the War of the Roses, which, if you are completely ignorant of English history, is. Um, <laughs> is it Civil War? No. Henry VIII War thing. That's right. Civil War, and if it's English, it's English. Yeah. Well, we won the War of the Roses. Lancaster, Lancaster won. I was say Lancaster. <laughs> Lancaster. <laughs> Different <laughs> place entirely. Yeah, Lancaster won the <laughs> War of the Roses, beating York Scum, um, and holding on to the first ever War of the Roses trophy. Yes. So that, that's going to be on the mantelpiece for a year. Yep. Collecting dust. Collecting dust. And then we'll give it back to the York. Oh, well, we'll just keep. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it, it and beat them again next year. We'll forget it, and then we'll have to win. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Uh, who else we got on this? Jay Finnegan, Steve Crow. Oh, Flaky Jay. And See if he some, makes it. Yeah, some local boys. Uh, Josh Devoy and he's messaged me now. Uh, Daniel Stockdale. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, so we've got quite a few people on the way. Mm. If you are wanting to come, as I say, let us know. We'll add you to that list. Yeah, sooner rather than later, please, because we need to book yes. our space out with Tim and arrange prices. Yes. Um, uh, it looks like I think because of the people coming, especially we've got people coming from abroad, it'd only be fair if we hosted and did things on the Friday as well. Yeah, so if you're around, um, and you, if, you're, if you're traveling early down or you live local, there's quite a few of you done. Oh, I think Sam Page is attending. You keep messaging me. Well, he's, right. well, he's yeah. local. You better um, attend, he's around the corner. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, if you're traveling down or you're local, uh, we'll be there Friday. Uh, daytime probably setting up yeah. the hall, just making sure everything's nice and tidy. But we'll also be there to try and get some games in as well. Yeah. Cause we'll want to play a little bit. Go for some food. Yeah, go for some food. Probably the beef eater. Or yeah, it's close enough. Just isn't it? Over the way. Yeah. yeah cool. We, we hope to see you there. Yes. Very exciting. Mhm. Mm Very exciting. Right, should we try and do the sign off? Oh, uh, that thing. Yeah, it's yeah. been a real. <laughs> okay. Right. Be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'm oh, so gonna go for that one. Um, to yeah, us uh, on Facebook. like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Support your hobbit hobby. Best no. one of it. There is no. There is, there is, oh, no. Yeah. And support your hobbit host in the links below. Like, click yes. on the links below. Yeah. And, and happy, happy strategy, strategy battle, battle gaming. gaming. Why well, don't we model our way through it? We sort of did. Next right. time we better. We promise. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>